Backlinks, schmacklinks. What the heck is linking all about? We're going to talk about that today. Let's talk backlinks. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> They're so important as part of the findability mix. There's a lot of misunderstanding around backlinks or just links. So let's talk a little bit about what a link is, what are the different kinds of links, and how can I check to see who's currently linking to me? There are three different kinds of links. There are gold, silver, and bronze. So let's talk about the difference between all three of these links. The first one is the bronze standard. The bronze standard is when someone's linking to you and you link to them. So it's called a reciprocal link. I link to you, you link to me, and we kind of scratch, scratch each other's backs. That's fine, but Google's like, uh-uh, you're in cahoots. We see you. So those are fine, but they're not really the best. They're the bronze standard. The silver standard is going to be inside of your content, on your website, you're linking from your source out to another reference. So that could be a word or a study or a stat, and you link to where that stat resides on another website. That's a silver standard. If you are a professor and expert in your space, of course you're going to cite your sources. That's what links are all about. Links are meant to validate the content that you're talking about on that page. So make sure that when you're writing content that you're linking inside of your body copy. That's considered a silver standard or when you're linking from your website to another site. Now let's talk about the good stuff. Let's talk about the gold standard of linking. The gold standard of linking is going to be Harvard, a .edu, links their paper or some content from their domain to you. Now those are going to be pretty hard to get, but .edu's are da bomb. So you want to make sure you can get them. If you like, maybe you present to a class, maybe you write an article for a newspaper, maybe you submit a blog, .edu's have a tremendous amount of credibility for Google because clearly if, you're, if you've got an amazing educational institution and they're linking to you, then you are an expert in your field. Also any news sites, so CNN, Forbes, any of the big sites that pick up um, a quote from you, pick up a stat. There's a wonderful website called Haro, H-A-R-O.com. It's help a reporter out. I watch reporters who go in there and they'll say, I need to speak to someone on SEO, or I need an SEO expert, or I need to know how businesses can grow online. I will go into Haro and I will write a quick note to that reporter and saying, here's like how I can help you. Now, this is why this is so cool is because if that reporter takes my quote I sent him, I get a backlink from wherever he's creating content back to my website. Remember, that's the gold standard. One directional from a news educational site back to your website. I'll take any link that comes from a third party site back to you, but don't reciprocate. Remember, I don't want Google to think I'm in cahoots. I have a lot of people that are going like they'll ask their cousin and all their uncles and all their clients to link to them and then they'll link back. It's fine, but it's not good enough really for Google to say, mm, that's good, I could trust that, they're clearly an authority. So be very careful about how you select your links. Let me show you one of my favorite tools. I talk about it a lot, kind of like a broken record here, but I love SEM Rush. Now I've logged into my account. If you don't have an SEM Rush account, um, there's a lot of other backlinks. I'm going to show you a free backlink audit tool here in a minute, but I want to show you SEM Rush first. SEM Rush has a tool called Backlinks. Now the problem is, is when you get all these links and they're all being generated, sometimes those links are toxic. Kind of a dramatic word for saying, I didn't ask for that link. Or maybe that website is, is participating in deceptive practice, meaning they're just linking to everything. Hoping, that, hoping they'll create this what's called a backlink profile to Google that makes a lot of traffic go to their website. You may have a lot of links that get created over time that you had no business in um, creating. And we want to make sure that we watch this. So we want to do what's called a backlink audit and make sure that we tell Google that if these are all toxic links, I don't want to be associated with that. I didn't endorse that, endorse that or approve that. You need to then tell Google that you don't want, you don't have nothing to do with these links because those could be affecting your ranking and you'd never know it. So when you come in here, you're going to run a backlink audit. And you'll see right here that I have, 
um, 1,700 links from other sources back to my website. I have 196 referring domains, meaning of those 1,700 um, backlinks, they're coming from 196 different domains. And of course, then I have referring IP addresses. Don't worry about that. That's just geek talk. Okay. So then we want to come down in here, and we're going to take a careful look at which ones are considered toxic and which ones are good. Now, what I want you to see here is as you go down, you'll see there's a little button right here that says disavow. This creates a beautiful little Excel spreadsheet. So as you're looking through here and you're looking at where these are coming from, if I see anything in here that I'm like, what? Let's see, let's see here. Uh, na, 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 na. I'm going through here, I see speaking, places I've spoken at. Let's see where else I can see here. Lots of printer hub, thank you. So now I see napa-net.org. Now you have a couple things. You can click on that link, see where it resides. If you don't want it, then you're gonna hit the plus sign. Now what this does is it adds that URL for that one link to an Excel spreadsheet, then it will submit it to Google on your behalf. So what happens is you're saying, look, I am great at what I do, but all these links have shown up over time that I had no business in creating. I don't wanna be associated with those. And Google's like, okay, great. And you submit this document to Google and that will help to clean up your backlink profile. Make sure those uh, gold, silver, and bronze links are really giving you the benefit of lifting your website. So when you do create a piece of content, Google's like, they got it going on. All these other people are linking directly to that content and they think it's amazing. So another quick tool to look at, it's not as fancy as SEMrush, but it's free. Free is nice. This is a website tool like I found called arefs, A-H-R-E-F-S dot com slash backlink dash checker. And I'll make sure to put it in the notes below in the, in the description of this video. You're gonna come in, you're gonna put your domain name, you're gonna hit check back links. All right, so what it's doing is it's going in there and taking a look now at what are all the pages that I'm ranking for, what are the backlinks I'm getting from those pages, and then of course, referring domains. This is a wonderful way, just start looking through these links. If you see any links in here, you're like, what the heck, how did that ever? Like here's one called Beauty Store Business. I don't know what that is. I don't know why anyone would link me, but maybe if I go and check it out, so I'm gonna click on that. Let's see where this goes. Yeah. So this is clearly a link bait site. A link bait site is where they put a bunch of links on here, and then of course, they're hoping that Google will see those links and give them credit for it. I don't wanna be on this website. You'll see it's clearly a spam site. So I'm gonna go back, and then I'm gonna go into my SEM rush and say, uh-uh. I don't want to be associated. I'm going to disavow that link. So I know this is a little geeky. Post your questions in the comments below or email me heather at findability.com and we can take a little bit of a geek deep dive into backlinking. It's so important when you're trying to establish trust in a robotic setting in search. So remember, gold, silver, bronze, stay true to creating content link out to experts and make sure you give them credit and your backlink profile will become a beautiful example of why people love you and ultimately link to you. If you love nerding out over search engine marketing, findability, then make sure to ring the bell and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm committed to creating daily content that moves your business forward to become the most findable business online. Whoa.